Rudd swam for several hours, and the conclusion, as long as there is hope, there's life. As long as there is hope, there's life. You can carry on. We see this in marriages. What ultimately destroys a marriage? Cruelty, mental cruelty, unfaithfulness, lack of communication, irreconcilable differences, granted, those things do take their toll. But what ultimately destroys a marriage or any kind of covenant or any kind of relationship is the absence of hope. If one of her partners does not believe the marriage can work, he or she, if he or she does not have hope that it will get better, it's over. As one woman said, it wasn't until I lost all hope of recovery that I finally gave up. When the hope vanished, so did my energy. And this is so true of every part of life. When hope vanishes, energy does the same. Hope is so important. Hope. We talk a lot about it, but what is it? Webster says, Hope is to desire with expectation of fulfillment. Chuck Swindoll said, Hope always looks to the future. It is always on, his tip, on its tiptoes. What is hope not? Well, like the song, it does not encompass troubles melting like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. It's not that easy. Hope does not eliminate the presence of pain or sorrow. Pain and sorrow, those things are part of life. They're part of our existence. At least... It's part of our existence, this, this part and this side of the eternity. And our message today, there are three rainbows. In Noah's case, he saw the rainbow after the storm. In Ezekiel's case, he saw the rainbow in the midst of the storm. John saw the rainbow before the storm. Rainbows are, are those signs of hope. Are those indications of hope that God sends us when we are in a storm, when life storms surround us and we feel that we can drown. It's when you get the bad news from the doctor. It's when things go wrong in your relationships. It's when you call, you're called in at work to say we don't need you anymore. It's when things go wrong during the exam that you need rainbows that you need those signs. And God sent. Every time God is so, so great, faithful, He sends His rainbows. Sometimes before the storm. I remember my life many times before a storm. It was as if God was warning me, but also giving me some kind of, of word, some indication, I'm with you. Sometimes right in the middle of the storm, I experienced 
God. Signs of hope. Be it someone. Be it a word from the Bible. Be it a sermon. Be just a ray of sunlight. But you experience that, that God is waiting to give you signs of hope, rainbows. And sometimes we go through the storm and it's like a whirlwind. It is heavy. But wait, there's a rainbow. There's a rainbow. God wants you to look out for the rainbows. You and I will experience storms until we are called to heaven. Expect storms and don't be afraid of them because God is always faithful. We do have it so much better actually than Noah because over our rainbow stands the cross. If you think the rainbow was a mighty sign, Think of the cross. Because on the cross, it's a bloody sign. Sealed with blood. That Jesus tells us, if I can give my blood, my life to you, is there anything that I will withhold from you? That I will not see you through whatever storm you have to go through. When we look at the cross... We know that at the center of the universe is a giving, forgiving, unlimited love that will never let us go. The cross over the rainbow tells us that God has put down his weapons. God is not mad at you. God is not in a fighting mood when the storms come. God says, well, Storms are part of life. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue and the dreams that you care to dream really do come true. So, brother and sister, my message to you this afternoon is very simple. Look out for the rainbows. Amen.